this hack, jig, however you want to call it, will make your life so, so much easier when you're gluing up your panels. My name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY Channel. So let's jump into this project. Now this design, this idea is actually not mine. I've seen it on um, Jay Bates' YouTube channel and I'm gonna steal that from him and I'm gonna make that for myself as well. If you don't know Jay Bates, it's a fantastic woodworker and DIYer. I'm gonna drop a link to his channel down below in the description to his video so you can definitely go and check it out. But let's carry on with the project. So what are you gonna need for this project? PVC pipe, the cheapest I could have found, five centimeters in diameter, um, and some really <laughs> flat stock. Now I'm using this piece of furniture, it used to be furniture, it's laminated MDF, so that hopefully will stay flat over the years as I'm gonna be using the jig. So try to use some sort of chipboard, laminated chipboard, melamine board, anything like that, as if you were to use, I don't know, a two by four, uh, or something like that, it may warp over time and it may bend the PVC pipe going with it. So yeah, try to get something like this uh, for this project. The dimensions for these, how long they're gonna be, it actually depends on you. If you, for example, doing a lot of chopping boards, you're not gonna need a very long uh, system here. For me, the PVC pipes are more or less two meters long, so I'm gonna have pieces about one meter in length. Again, you know, if you've got massive glue-ups, massive panels, then go larger, go longer. If you've got smaller glue-ups, go shorter. Now on my table, so I'm just ripping more or less in half um, the two MDF, laminated MDF boards uh, that will become the base. Okay, so we've got our pieces cut to the right sizes, the sizes you wanted for your particular case. And it doesn't really matter if the base is shorter or longer than the pipe itself. Um, you know, as long as you've got one stable piece, that will be just fine. Now, obviously, I'm gonna try to attach the PVC pipe and the base with some screws. However, that will be fairly difficult as this is rolling about. So I'm just gonna use some hot glue to, you know, stabilize the pipe on the base itself. And after that, we're gonna pre-drill, countersink, and drive in a few screws. And more or less, this is it. As you can see, it's that simple piece of PVC <laughs> combined with some sort of a flat base that you can put it on your workbench. Nice and stable way of securing your glue ups. And to be fair, that could be it, you know, leave it at that. However, I like to add a bit of um, wax, just a normal furniture wax. Um, it's just gonna be a little bit easier for me to remove any glue from it. So yeah, that's me done more or less with this. However, I'm just gonna show you um, how easy it is to actually use it now and uh, to, you know, glue a few panels. Line up your boards. No problem, access from the bottom, access from the top access from the middle okay super easy to do and it just works it's such a simple idea but it actually works right so let's glue these boards together Thank you. 
and there you go so much easier and quicker to actually clamp everything down nothing's going to stick to anything so that's absolutely fine now if you're interested in the clamps i'm using these are the bessie clamps parallel clamps and i absolutely love them fantastic clamps if you are in the market of buying some i'm going to leave some links down below in the description of this video Now I hope you can see how useful this is, especially if you want to use these quick clamps where you know the uh, top head is quite large and otherwise it would be hard to get it underneath but five centimeters here, um, the base is I think about two centimeters and that's plenty to have loads of clearance underneath and you can put any clamps anywhere you want without any hassle at all. For me, definitely it was a long time project coming, so simple and so quick to do and for definite it will improve my time and effort that I need to put into um, gluing up some panels. I hope you enjoyed this little video, really quick and easy project. If you did, drop me that like button down below. And if you are interested in shop projects, improvements, jigs, anything like that, I've got some really cool playlists for you just over here. Check out my other videos. And hey, I'll hope to see you on those videos there. Take care.